All right, are you ready? It is time for your morning workout, and there is good reason for it. In a week, St. Jude will be kicking off its 5K walk run as a fundraising effort for the research hospital. And joining us to tell us a little bit more about that race and the organization and get us ready for it, Jennifer Herrera, bilingual development representative for St. Jude, and Kay Yassin, community promotions chair for the event. And she also happens to be a fitness and wellness expert, an expert and she's the one that's going to get us ready for that workout, a 5K race, which if you're anything like me, you can't even run a block, so you need all the help you can get, <laughs> <Same> right? <here. laughs> all right, I want you to start with uh, talking to us about what St. Jude does and how it's able to help all communities, but particularly the Latino community. Of course, of course, Lourdes. Thank you so much for having mm -hmm. us. We're excited. Um, one thing that I love to share about St. Jude is that kids and families, the minute they go inside those doors, they don't have to worry about one single thing. They don't cover um, expenses. We cover traveling expenses, mm -hmm. food, travel, and housing, medical bills that are over $400,000, we take care of that. And that's also thanks to donors that fundraise and support the mission of St. Jude. So we're excited to kick it off and kick off Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in September. Yeah, and not only do you help some of these families, but this hospital is instrumental in doing a lot of the research yes. that's done on kids and kids and cancer. Yes, yes, and our research we share um, freely all over the nation mm -hmm. and countries, and um, we, we take pride in that. So we save kids from all over Chicago land area and around the world as well. Okay, so I'm gonna be a part of the run walk, but I'm also so gonna be a part of the Dreams <laughs> event that's coming up on yes. October 1st, which is a whole nother thing. Do you know much about that one as yes, well? Yes, okay. yes, so at St. Jude Dream Chicago, we're actually promoting the global impact that St. Jude has on a national level, okay. global level. We're saving kids not only locally, but globally. Mexico, Salvador, Latin American countries, um, we're, we're helping do that. And so excited to have you there, MC, and meet some of our patients from Jamaica and other parts of the world that will be attending here in Chicago. Okay, you and I are gonna do a little switcheroo yes, yes. as we bring Kay into the conversation here because as I said, you guys may recognize her. Maybe you've seen her in some of like my Instagram and social media, but Kay and I work together a lot doing training. She helps me out to try to do some of the running that I do, which is not very good. So I need all the help I can get, as I, I said. Um, you've got some ideas and some thoughts for folks if they want to join this race again now just a week away so there's not a whole lot of time to train what would you tell someone who's just coming into it well I mean I think what I'm gonna go through today is just basically a few different exercises that they can do right before the race mm -hmm. so we're really a week away there's not much that I can give you as far as <laughs> training and getting ready for it but it, you know get moving as much as you can daily at this point um, but the exercises that I'm gonna go through are just okay. basically warm up exercises so that you don't injure yourself. The day and again, of. Okay. it's a walk run, so it's very family friendly. We're not sprinting, we're not looking for a race yeah. here. Okay. okay, all right, so get us started. What should we be doing? So a couple of things that um, I'm gonna hold on to you okay. here, but and you can do them with me. So if we do like little leg swings here, what you wanna do is really just start getting your hips open. I mean, if you think about when you're running, you know, these, muscles right here, your hip flexors are very important. You don't wanna strain um, your hamstrings either. So you can go sideways, you can also go forward and back. And how okay. long should you be doing that? Are we just talking about a couple minutes? Yeah, I mean like 15 repetitions of each. Mm -hmm. um, and then another one, again, kind of focusing on your gait here is what we call it in your hips, is really just coming around and opening up, okay? And all of those things will keep you from being or getting injured during a race, whether it's a 5K or you're doing a marathon, right? Yeah, and then honestly, like take 60 seconds to just jog around to kind of get your whole body warmed up. I am gonna be doing a special warm up mm -hmm. with a couple of special guests also right before the race, just so that everybody's ready to go. Okay, all right. Um, and I think the interesting thing that you guys have been doing with St. Jude, and Jennifer, you can kind of come into the conversation too, is that, um, as you do this 5K, you've also developed sort of a whole system over the course of the last year to get women, Latinas specifically, mm. to train. You've created a whole group behind it. Yeah, so that's how I got introduced to St. Jude's was mm. Chicago Huddle Fitness. We came together during COVID times because we weren't able to do the, the walk run in person. Okay. So we did it virtually, but we were outside. It was a way to f raise funds to really bring together a community of Latina nice. women and just, you know, kind of let the world know that 
everybody exercises and it's important for everyone. Yeah. And we're seeing some pictures of that group right there. And again, you said family friendly. It's moms, it's daughters, it's little kids yeah. that will come out. Pets. Yes. Yeah, pets. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget your little ones. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So it's a way to for them to learn about St. Jude. And it seems like every year you guys are getting a bigger and bigger crowd, right? Yes, yes. We're expecting 1,500 um, this year. It's our um, first time going back in person after two years. As Kay mentioned, uh, because of COVID, we're just finally coming together as communities in Chicago um, mm -hmm. to support the mission of St. Jude. So we're nice. excited. Yeah, Chicago's kind of slacking behind a few other cities around the country, which is not normal for us. So we're here yeah. to really get people excited. It's almost the end of the summer. Yeah. So this is a great way to get out there and support something wonderful. Okay. Um, to get back to the talk about St. Jude is, um, you know, what are you noticing with Latino families that mm -hmm. are coming to your organization for help? How are they doing um, in terms of dealing with cancer and a child? Definitely. So as we know, um, in countries like Mexico, Guatemala, or other countries um, in Latin America, um, they don't have the resources like our patients mm -hmm. do here in the United States. So at St. Jude, we're taking pride in doing a global um, initiative where we're giving free medicine and um, saving kids' Which lives is huge, yeah. from cancer in um, foreign countries that don't have these resources. So as a Mexican-American um, uh, woman myself, I take pride in knowing that the work that we're doing here is helping potentially my little cousins or, or mm -hmm. others in Mexico that might not have the resources yeah, like kids in St. Jude It's do. a global organization exactly. and people are you traditionally have seen sort of the commercials yes. and the marketing that is yep. done uh, on TV to raise awareness about St. Jude and this exactly. sort of is doing the same thing because those dollars are very needed. Um, okay Jennifer, thank you. Thank One you. last thing, if we are going out there on that Saturday morning and we're newbies to running, are there things that we can do like what should we be eating how should we nutritionally yeah. what should we be doing um, I'm just gonna give you a few little okay. snacks quickly and there will be plenty of snacks there so okay. don't feel like you need to come prepared but bananas some sort of fruits a little cup of yogurt so load fruits, up on carbs right some carbs okay. are good natural carbs that have sugar and mm -hmm. you know and also included in the fruits so a little yogurt uh, string cheese a little bagel with peanut butter you know things that you just would to normally get your system going get your system going give you a little energy okay yeah. as we wrap it up let's get the information up on the screen if you are interested in being a part of this 5k run walk again it's family friendly anybody can go out there it's at Montrose Harbor st. Jude.org slash walk Chicago that's how you're able to register and they'll be doing this every year in case you can't do it this year maybe next all right ladies thank you so much